Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're gonna to be doing some preventative maintenance. We're doing lower tie rods on the VR6 Coupe. Last year, I took this car for an alignment. Wasn't able to get it aligned properly just because the tie rods are seized, can't move it. So, gonna change that out. I've had these for probably six months now. Just haven't had the time or really the need to do it, but I figured I have the time right now during winter. It's off season, let's get them done. So I got these parts from FCP Euro. If you Volkswagen Audi guys don't know who they are, look them up. Lifetime warranty on all their products, I think, to a point. So figured, why not pick these up from FCP Euro? They have two, three day shipping. They have quality parts. They've been around for many, many years. If these ever break, give them a call. Get a new one sent back out to me. Figured it's like a no brainer. For Christmas, I got myself some Milwaukee tools. So this little quarter inch impact driver. Takes lug bolts off pretty easy. These I'm actually gonna change out because if you own any kind of car, taking off your wheels and putting them back on should be the easiest thing to do. But with the Volkswagen, it's not the case. All right. So I guess the Milwaukee cannot take them all off. Make sure you're wearing some actual shoes, not Crocs, when you're doing this. So while I'm here, I'm checking my brake pads from the last drive session. Haven't checked them since. Kind of brought the car in here after it was, so I tracked this car about late September, early October last year. Brought it in the garage, kind of let it sit. Really haven't checked anything, so just checking brake pads. They're starting to show some wear. Gonna have to take them off, actually inspect them, see how much meat they have on them. They look like they're wearing a little unevenly, so we're gonna have to figure out what's going on there. But that's for a different video. So, lower tie rod, we're gonna take it off. Just using some PB blaster, trying to break away some of that rust. audio issue, problem resolved. I don't have the best tools around here. I just have a Harbor Freight breaker bar, block of wood, no mallet. I'm gonna try driving this bolt up to loosen the tie rod. you don't buy a 37 year old rusty car. And this is why you should probably have the proper tools to do this. Whoops. All right, we're gonna let that soak. We're gonna run an AutoZone, get a tie rod puller. Didn't make it to AutoZone. All right, I'm going to AutoZone. Or wherever is open. All right, I'm back. Went on Facebook, made a post. People said hit it with my purse. All right, guys, we're back. We've got a hammer. Haven't gone to AutoZone. It's been like four days since I've worked on this. Let's try whacking it out. Put the nut back on. It ain't gonna move. <sighs> Looks like I really do have to go to AutoZone to get the right tool. Got the proper tool actually. Thank you Alex from Paragon Performance. He's been holding out on this for me for the past like four days. I've been complaining about this tie rod and I'm complaining and he's like, oh, do you wanna borrow the tool we have here at work? That'd be nice. Stick this in there, do this, 
take this thing and twist, 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 twist. Okay. Safety glasses are important, everybody. Boot, spring clip. Because I am notorious for leaving things off, we are going to Take this spring clip back on the boot. That way I don't lose it good enough. What a mess. Buy a swapped car, they said. How am I supposed to get in there? With the tie rod tool that I don't have that I'm just trying to wing this with. Ayo. Old, new. So I was being online, they said to make sure you measure so you know what your approximate distance is so you're not going out there all freaking cockeyed. It was about one 25 millimeter wrench away. Close enough, I guess, for now. From this touching here. And don't mind me, if you ever need help working on your car, don't ask me. I'm sure you guys hear that door creaking. There's currently a blizzard warning here in Iowa. That's about where we were, right there. So now we're gonna twist this back on. No, we're not gonna just twist this on right now. I need to put the boot on because then I can't get the boot on after. I guess what I could do is take out the outer. Yes. Again, thank you FCP Euro. Not a sponsorship video, but I mean, if you guys wanna, you know, give me some free stuff and I'll just do some videos for you guys. Sure, let's talk. Outer tie rod, boot. Boot. This goes like this and this will go back in there. Inner. Tighten that on and get your really, really scientific measurement with your 25 millimeter wrench. Don't forget your spring clip for the boot. All right, I think it's gonna be easier if I just take the outer tie rod off completely, screw the inner on, put the outer back on. Makes sense to me. I know these aren't the most entertaining videos, guys. I just figured you'd get a laugh at me trying to wrench in my car. And to the people who are saying, well, if it's gonna take you longer than two days, you should probably put the tools down. How far have you gotten in life when people kept telling you just to stop? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta keep going. I think that's what this lesson's about. When people tell you, don't do it, just keep doing it anyway. You gotta keep walking. I read that somewhere today. She's in. I know this is a simple task for some of you guys, but you know, someone like me who really doesn't do this, feels quite good. Feels quite good. Lift the boot. Move your block of wood. Spring clip goes back on because I fell down for the eighth time. You don't know. You 
before I do any of all this, I'm gonna tighten that nut back down. Adjustable pliers, it works. This is the definition of, I have no idea what I'm doing. As long as you're willing to try and you keep trying and you get it and you don't give up, that's what matters. Woo, got it. It's not a 17, it's not a 19. I'm not a 21 either. FCP or what are you doing to me? What size is this? Oh, I swear if this is a 23, I got the 22 and then a 25. It's a 22. Okay, so that's off, which means my inner is off, which means I'm able to tighten it, which means I have to go back in there and re-tighten it together. But now I just moved this, which is not gonna f anything up. Probably. So these beautiful folks at FC Piero actually did provide me with a proper nut for a cotter pin, which I didn't have before. Just helps from preventing it spinning off. Why is everything in an even number? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Are these standard? I'm just using metric. Okay, I'll put on 18. 19 feels big. Okay, it's a 19. Okay, hopefully I didn't go too tight. No grease came out, well, that's good. Cotter pin in for safety. We're gonna do it this way so I can actually see what's going on. Ethan, come help me. I don't know if you watched my videos, Ethan, but congratulations on the new gig at Winning Formula. Awesome guy in the track Midwest community. He's helped a lot of people fix their cars at the track. Back at home, really anywhere. People ask for help. Ethan's the man. Done. Wheel needs to go back on. Other side. All right, so tie rod's done. Passenger side, I'll get to it. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Next week, maybe two weeks, probably two weeks, we're gonna be doing some wheel studs because you're about to watch me struggle. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It's the worst. It's so bad, I don't know why, can't stand it. Plus, I'm wearing Crocs. I'm not gonna support the wheel with my feet because they're just asking for an accident to happen. So, I'm gonna do it the hard, old fashioned way, but soon, I'm putting these on. While I'm here, we're gonna do an outro. Guys, next week, I wanna play a little game called Are My Fenders Rusty? It's gonna be a short video. Gonna be checking all my fenders. If they're rusty, I'm not gonna feel bad about cutting them. If they're actually clean, I'm gonna make a lot of Volkswagen people very angry. These coupes are hard to find, and if this thing is straight as everything else is, I'm probably gonna feel a little bad cutting them. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. Till next week, guys. Yeah, you think you're on, but you're not. Hey, we're on. I seriously hate this. Could you imagine doing this at the track? Or you just slide it onto four studs and call it a day. Come on, on you go.
Let me know what you guys think about these wheels. Should I keep them? Should I sell them back to the original owner? Should I just keep rocking them for the street? Again, guys, appreciate you watching. If you have any pointers, tips, leave in the comments. I'll read it, I'll reply back. Anything to make my life easier next time. Sorry, neighbors.